start by telling me, yeah, what Rudy was doing and what you've heard. So what happened is he rents, he's self-employed, he rents side-by-sides for people to go up into the mountains and just, and he rented to a father and son because they wanted to do bow hunting for the deer, Mm -hmm. deer season. And they hit a deer on Thursday and wounded it, but it didn't die. Mm -hmm. So they came back to my brother and was telling him, and they said, is there a chance you can help us track it? Mm -hmm. And he says, sure, I would be happy to. And that's just the way he is. He's just, sure, I'll help you. And so he was the first in line and they were tracking the deer and he came upon a smaller bear that was um, around a, the, a, deer, a dead deer. And he got out, he got off his um, side by side and he pulled his gun just in case the bear did anything and he did have pepper spray, but he didn't have a chance to get it before a 10 foot grizzly came out and attacked him. Wow. He had one second. They're gonna be bear spray, right? Bear spray. Okay, well, yeah, they, bear spray. they call it the pepper thing? spray, okay. but bear spray, pepper spray, and it doesn't always work because there's been an incident where a guy sprayed it and the bear was coming so fast he just went right through it and still got the guy. So. Anyway, he had one second from the time that he saw the grizzly charging him to fire and it misfired. And so then the bear was on top of him and bears go and all wild animals usually go for the jugular Mm -hmm. and the bear missed it by about two inches and got his whole bottom jaw so he doesn't have any teeth or jaw and a little bit of his throat broke part of his throat and uh, puncture wounds in his head from bites and yeah the bear was shaking him around and then he's got puncture wounds in his arms he has uh, bear claw marks across his chest and on his right leg. So what did his friend do to jump in and kind of save him? Well, the father of the group had a gun and he wanted to shoot it, but he didn't want to hit my brother. Mm -hmm. And so he waited until he could get a shot off and scare the bear away, which he did. And they, then they called for uh, assistance, mm-hmm. which luckily they had c- coverage, cell so coverage. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Wow. And so they waited and uh, they had a whole bunch of responses. They had the police station, they had uh, medevac or whatever they have up in Bozeman. I don't know what it is, but there were four different teams that responded and the helicopter that was there to pick him up could not go down with the bear still loose. So they had to wait for another helicopter to come. So it took him a little bit. So he was just was there in pain. Wow. So yeah, they did um, get him out. They took him to um, Bozeman Deaconess Hospital. Okay where they stitched up all his um, scratches and tried to uh, make sure there was no infection and get him stabilized. And then they flew him down here to the U of U because they have the best plastic surgery and surgeons. And, And the U of U hospital has great staff and doctors. They have been in there and telling us every little step that they're going to take and he's supposed to make a full recovery good but it's going to take time and this happened near big sky right just for yes the location yes uh it's called um i don't know it is by big sky okay. and they have it sectioned off i can, it's yellow mule trail okay. yeah it's in the cnn or 
like yeah okay yellow mule trail and so they have been looking for the bear okay and they haven't located the bear yet I don't as think. far as I know I haven't heard anything what went through your head when you heard what happened my first reaction was um, is he even gonna make it to Salt Lake is he gonna survive what he's been through and everything else because we didn't know how bad it was yeah. and wow. so yeah I didn't sleep that night I just kept thinking I hope he makes it I hope he makes it I hope he makes it and um, as soon as he was stabilized then they flew him down here, down here yeah. mm -hmm. and his daughter from California came flew into Bozeman and as soon as they knew he was flying down here. The other daughter that lives in Livingston, um, they drove down. So they made it about seven o'clock Saturday morning and can here. You, can you recap what the doctor told you about how if the bear had gotten him just a little bit lower, it might have gotten him? Oh yeah, they said two inches lower and it would have got his jugular and he would have been dead. Wow. Yeah. So how has he been, can you repeat what you said about how kind of been telling you guys about what happened this way. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he's so funny. He he has a sense of humor, and we're going, okay, and the nurse says, I hear you kissed a bear, and he wrote on his whiteboard, bear French kissed me. <laughs> and, and she laughed, and she goes, oh, I bet it had bad breath, and he shook his head, yes. So he has a sense of humor, but he writes we ask him questions and then he writes and that's how I knew that he said the tree was here he was here grizzly here one second and he had just gotten off of his four by four right or his side, side by side side by side, sorry. side, side, by side. side. yeah mm -hmm. he just got off his side by mm -hmm. side and then he looked up mm -hmm. saw the little bear and then saw the big one coming at him yes wow Yes. And did you said too he bopped the bear on the nose? He hit he, the bear on the nose okay. and he was fighting and kicking and everything he could do. This was after he tried firing the bear mm -hmm. on his Okay. As soon as the bear got on top of him. He was just doing what he could. Yeah. That's scary. Yeah. Um what's he what's his next steps now? You said he's trying to walk again and he's had surgery. They were trying to um get him to stand up and walk today. I just left the hospital and they were trying to get him to walk and um, tomorrow he's going in for surgery for the titanium plate Five so Timeline. that is basically how they structure the jaw mm -hmm. so it's kind of like if you have a tooth that's out you have to put a post in and then let it heal and then you can put the tooth on but they they do the titanium uh, the frame and then they're going to take 20 inches out of his leg they said you have a tibula and a fibula bone and the fibula bone isn't really weight bearing or necessary so they will take that out okay. to help reconstruct yeah reconstruct his jaw and I said it's a good thing you have long legs <laughs> <laughs> takes like 20 time. inches wow, yeah that's interesting surgery yeah so have you seen he's missing like his whole oh yeah. yeah the plastic surgeon when she came in she took the gauze off and it's just the his cheeks were I thought he had grapefruits in his mouth because they were so swollen and it was just like this big hole and when she asked him to move his tongue he had to it was sideways and he had to push it out oh and God. then wiggle it a little bit just because he was so swollen and the last couple of days the swelling has gone down but yeah he's just got a great big there's nothing from here so the bear down. just kind of grabbed and shook him his head use that to like shake him or well i know he did when he grabbed the the head because there's puncture wounds around here so it shook him but then it bit him trying to go for the jugular that makes sense and you said it was a 10 foot grizzly that's what he said okay 10 foot grizzly and he might still be on drugs that he doesn't <laughs> so know sure. but that's what he said it was a 10 foot grizzly wow is there anything you want to tell people after this story or 
you want to share? Well, my brother, and this is my baby brother, so, you know, I'm kind of protective of him, but yeah. he is a fighter. He's always been outdoorsy, loves the outdoors, loves helping people. He's had people as far as New York come to rent his snowmobiles and four wheelers, and they love him because they said he's so informative and so kind and helpful. Mm -hmm. And they said, we will be back and we will tell our friends. And as I was telling you before, um, he rented out to Elizabeth from Survivor. Yeah. And uh, she loved him so much that she says, we will be back again. And he says, I want to be on your show. And he says, maybe now they'll take me. <laughs> I feel like he deserves to be on the show. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And yes. it sounds like he knows what he's doing with bears. This was just no time. Well, and we were just saying if it had been the father and son, it might not have ended like it did. Yeah, because he knew what he was doing. Yeah. So that was yeah. great. Anything you'd want to add or say? Well... He is a veteran. Okay, yeah. Uh, he was in the Navy for several years, so he does have VA insurance, but we are not sure how much they're going to cover mm -hmm. because the bills are going to be so extensive. And he will be out of work, and he's self employed, so he will be out of work for probably till the end of the year. Okay. And so we've got a GoFundMe account that we're trying to set up and hopefully you know people will reach out and help as much as they can and you know we were just saying you don't have to donate a lot mm -hmm. but every little bit helps especially here i feel like it's something so many of us think about a bear attack or at least in the western region oh like, yeah it's something we all yeah, like, worry about and care about yeah idaho and wyoming and montana and yeah the north part of utah yeah Yep. That was great. Thank I have you. one question. Yeah. But before this attack, what was your relationship like with your brother? And talk, answer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was always protecting my younger brother from the other brother. They're only 11 months apart. And so yeah. I was always protecting him from the other brother. But we have such a great relationship, he and the other brother now, mm -hmm. that... Um, he lives in Montana, the other brother lives in New Mexico. Mm -hmm. And so I'm kind of a meeting ground. Yeah. And um, we do lots of things. I mean, he came down this summer and we went to Lagoon. Yeah. And yeah, we have a great, I have a great relationship with both my brothers. And you know, seeing him like this is hard because I'm not used to him not being able to talk, not moving. Uh, He's probably a really in shape outdoorsy guy. Oh, he <laughs> is. Yeah. I mean, I just told him, I said, you don't need to lose weight this way. Yeah. And so they're, pri they're trying to put nutrition into him through the feeding tube and stuff. Yeah. But n yeah, he's, he's in very good shape. 